indolence, Saturn ruling the first decanate of Pisces. And what a grey miserable card that looks. So we now we've moved over to Hod, and it's with water. Hod is Mercury, so Venus on one side is pretty off the, off the tree of life, off the centre, and now Hod is also off the centre of life, and these cards kind of balance each other out in a kind of not always good way. <clears throat> Pisces is calm but stagnant water, and Saturn deadens it completely. Water appears no longer as the sea, but as pools. It's all dried up, the water's gone, evaporated. There's no fluorescence in the card as there was in the last. The lotuses droop for lack of sun and rain and the soil is poison to them. They had the poison of the water, now it's gone into the soil. Only two of the stems show blossoms at all. The cups are shallow, old and broken. They, in row, they are arranged in row, three rows. Of these, the upper row of three is quite empty. Water trickles from the two flowers in the two central cups and they drip into the two lowest without filling them. The background of the card shows pools or lagoons in very extensive country, incapable of cultivation. It's like the Dark Knight of Mordor here we're going on to. Only disease and miasmatic poison can flourish in these vast bad lands. The water is dark and muddy. On the horizon is a pad yellowish light weighed down by leaden clouds of indigo. The sun can't even get through here. Compare with the last card, it represents the opposite and complementary error. This is the seven of cups, the Borsch. This is the psycho this is the one the one is the garden of country, the other the palace of Klingsor. We're going back into the Wagnerian kind of uh, opera of Parsifal, I think, here. Um, not good places to go to. It is the psychopathology of the past. This card is the German measles of Christian mysticism. Um, he was a Probably was a it was a Plymouth Brethren, so he was life was kind of crushed and oppressed by the, the Plymouth Brethren kind of doctrine until his father died and he went to university and discovered the joys of homosexuality and drugs and all the rest of it. So, having done the misery of the eight seven of cups debauch and the eight of cups indolence, we're going on to happy times now. The nine of cups, which is happiness, 